Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and on this episode of The Haul, I'm bringing you my picks for the first five Ram mods fitting all 2019 and newer Ram 1500s. For the first five 2019 and newer Ram mods, I wanted to pick parts that are performance capable but also look great on these newer Ram trucks. Now I've got appearance, power, sound, and utility covered, but before I get started, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on more Ram builds, news, and product videos. Let's get started. Now to kick things off, I wanted to start with one of the very first mods most truck owners pick up a tonneau cover. Now there's a ton of different styles, designs, and applications out there in the tonneau or bed cover category, so I wanted to pick one that covers all of the bases. I picked the Back Industries Backflip Fiber Max Trifold Tonneau Cover. It has a versatile design that gives you access to portions of the bed in sections as you need it, but still allows you to flip it all the way up to the back windshield for complete bed access. Not every cover offers that, which is why this is one I like so much. It has a quick release latch at the tailgate, so no need to go back and forth to each corner to open it. It's also a hard trifold, meaning it comes with an aluminum cover over an aluminum frame to add protection and support. One of the things to consider with a tonneau cover purchase is how safe your cargo will actually be. You can only open it with the key and the tailgate itself unlocked. Soft covers can usually be cut into pretty easily by thieves, and with a hard cover here, that's not really an easy thing to do, if at all. This particular cover also uses really high quality weather stripping and weather channels to make sure weather elements can't get to the goods inside, which is another really important thing to look for in a cover. If you're carrying cargo that you don't want exposed to the elements, this one has it covered. Overall, it's an easier to use, more secure trifold, which makes it an easy first pick for me. Next up, we have another utility mod that makes getting in and out of your truck a lot easier and safer. Here we have the NFAB Epix Cab Length Nerf Sidesteps in Textured Black. Now these are really the best of both worlds. They have a drop style stepping pad, which means this section comes down a little bit lower, making it much easier to get in and out. The pad has raised grooves to make sure it's safe in any weather condition. Now if you're located in the East Coast like we are, you'll see a good amount of snow in the wintry months, so it can be really helpful having a slip resistant surface. The other thing these have going for them is durability. They have a stainless steel cab length bar, which means it'll help protect your rocker panel if you were to come in contact with on or off-road obstacles. Typically side steps don't double as side armor, but these are a bit more durable than others thanks to the fully welded steel. The textured black powder coating looks aggressive as well, especially on the angular design, and it adds to corrosion and rust resistance. With these NFAB steps, the rockers are protected, the truck looks great, and you can get in and out much easier. It's gonna complement our next set of mods really well too. Next, we have a few mods that really go hand in hand. The first of which is a leveling kit. On our ramp here is the Rough Country two inch front leveling kit, which is gonna help our truck in a couple of different ways. First, it's gonna level out our truck, getting rid of that factory rake that makes the front end sit a little bit lower than the rear. Most people think this look is a better look for our truck. Secondly, and more importantly, it's gonna make room for our next mods, bigger wheels and tires. Now, if you wanna fit 33 inch tires comfortably on your truck without any rubbing, especially when turning the wheel, a leveling kit like our two inch option from Rough Country is the way to go. This brings the front up about two inches to add clearance for those bigger tires. Now, a leveling kit is essentially a set of spacers that bolt to the top of your front struts to boost the ride height up. Now, there are a few different size leveling kits available and it's really personal preference as to what size you choose, but this two inch kit here is just enough to fit those 33s and it's super affordable, right around 50 bucks for a set of two. Now, getting these installed can be somewhat time consuming, but it doesn't require any cutting or permanent modifications. Plus, it's worth it to give our mods extra clearance. For our next mod, we have our wheel turned out a bit to show you guys our 33 inch Mickey Thompson Baja ATZ all-terrain tires wrapped around our Black Rhino Barstow 20 by nine and a half inch 12 millimeter offset wheels. Now, all-terrains are perfect for on and off-road driving. These 33 inches have bigger meteor tire tread than the stock all seasons our truck came with. This helps give us that added grip we need when taking on the trails or sand. Now they don't have as deep a tread as mud terrains, which would be a bit more unpleasant to drive in the highway with. Now these are another best of both worlds type of mod. Highway driving doesn't feel rough or uncomfortable and they don't make a ton of noise like mud terrains would. These are 285 55 20s, which is equivalent of a 33 inch tall tire. A perfect size to fit on a truck that recently had a two inch leveling kit installed. With that two inch kit, you don't have to worry about rubbing or clearance issues with these when turning in this wheel and tire setup. Now these mods not only make the truck look a lot more aggressive, but it also makes it a little bit more off-road capable.
My last mod is gonna help us make some noise. The Borla Stinger S-Type Catback is a great daily driver exhaust that beefs up the sound profile of your Ram, but keeps it from being too overwhelming like some of the over-the-top loud options. I'd give this guy three out of five on our loudness meter. Here's a quick sound clip. As you just heard, the Stinger S-Type here from Borla is a nice, deep, rumbling exhaust at idle. It gets more aggressive as you get on the throttle, but it's pretty tame at cruising speeds. This way you can make some noise, especially at wide open throttle, but you can commute to work without it being too overwhelming. Borla is known for making some of the more premium quality exhausts for your Ram, and this exhaust features three inch mandrel bent 304 stainless steel. If you're seeing a lot of road salt like we do here in the wintry months, that 304 stainless steel can definitely be the way to go. It's more corrosion and rust resistant than other aluminized or even 409 stainless steel materials. Borla has a more tamed touring option and a much louder attack option, but in my opinion, the Stinger S-Type is the perfect balance for an everyday truck owner. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up my picks for the first five mods fitting all 2019 and newer Ram 1500s. Drop us a comment below and let us know if this list is similar to your first five mods or do you have a different list? Also, while you're at it, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all things Ram, content, news, and product videos, and keep it right here at americantrucks.com. <laughs>